Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the homestead. Sure is great to see you. Nice hat. I like it. All right, well, we do have some things to do today. We're going to continue on with uh, using the post hole digger to try to break the ground up to get the um, extra dirt we need for the building area that we're getting ready to prep. So, without any further ado, let's get on it. I have an idea. I'm gonna go get a big maul and see if I can break that top layer up a little bit. Maybe that'll work a little better. Say hello to my little friend. Good morning. Well, Lee's trying to uh, get the dirt up with the post hole digger and he says the dirt is harder now than it was before. It's like concrete. And so unfortunately he's not getting very far. He did all that work for a little tiny pile of dirt. So um, he's taking a break right now and um, I'll go ahead and shovel up this little tiny bit of dirt that he has. Um, but uh, I guess we're going to have to maybe think about it, maybe go in a different direction. Who knows, but uh, I'll shovel this up.
Well, we've altered our plans a little bit. Well, a lot of bit, but that's okay. Um, just based on space and terrain, uh, mainly terrain. So we're going to put the shop here where I'm at, which was the original plan. It was gonna go a little more that way. Um, and then the garage was gonna go over here. That's, we're gonna move the garage closer up to the front of the property. Probably a better idea anyway for parking and that kind of stuff. So um, I'm gonna drive the back corner stake closest, the one closest to the property lines. Um, and then I'm gonna tie a string to it and come out this way, 25 feet or so, and, and get an idea of how I wanna lay this out. There's these little plants with flowers on them. You see that? But look at, I don't know if you can see that. Might have got it too close to the camera. But the whole thing has little tiny, tiny thorns. Pretty flower. Thorns. All up and down on the leaves, on the stem, everywhere. Everything has thorns around here and they hurt. Inside or the outside? Well, whichever one you are. Okay, that's uh, the layout, 12 by 24 garage. I squared it, should be good. Got the string laid out. Next is to weed eat all around. So um, I'm working with bare ground and not with grass. I have to dig something out um, and check for how off level we are. We interrupt our regularly scheduled programming of leveling the uh, and getting the garage ready to take care of an immediate problem. Um, behind me, I don't know if you can see it back there, but there's a branch on a dead tree that comes way out this way. We were sitting, having taken a little break, and a gust of wind came up and that thing moved about a foot. Well, it's dead and it's aiming at our car. So, Quickly, I'm going to move the car, go get a saw, and just drop that dead limb. So stay tuned for that.
Okay, all the limbs are put over to the side. Most of them were a little broken. And uh, we had a pile of sticks already there from limbs that had previously broke. So I just threw them over there. We'll deal with them later. We can't deal with them now. All that has to be burnt and we're not ready to burn. Okay, got the level lines on. It's not too bad. About five inches out of level. Over a 24 foot span. We can make that up with the blocks, no problem. One of the things I'm gonna do now, or what I'm gonna do now, is extend the, uh, well, we're gonna lay the blocks out. Then I'm going to extend the string lines beyond the foundation point. I tried to explain it to Brenda and wasn't able to, I'll try to do the same to you. Right now, the four corners are pinned by the stakes, which is right where the blocks need to go. So to put the blocks down, I need the stakes out of the way, but I need to maintain that line. To do that, I'll extend each stake out a couple of feet beyond where it is, and then the, the strings will cross one another, and at that cross point will be the measurement mark we need. In this case, 12 by 24. I put my hammer down somewhere. Did you see where I put it? Got it. Okay, Lee's gonna be climbing all over the ground. I figured we should spray some insecticide. And he's not gonna climb on the ground right this minute. We're gonna do that tomorrow, so that's a good thing. It has time to seep in and dry up and so he doesn't get affected by it. Um, so we are changing paces and Lee will tell you all about it. We're gonna go back into town now and go get the four by fours that we need for this job um, and we need some extra concrete blocks 
um, the smaller, shorter ones, two inches, to help get things level. So that's what we're going to do now. Yes, yes, I know. I just unloaded the truck of the stuff we went shopping for yesterday. But we didn't know, didn't think, either one, that we were going to need the 4x4s right now. And uh, we're at a point where we need them, so more gas, more time. Oh well. Well, that's it for today. By the time we get back from Lowe's, it's going to be too late to do anything else. So, be sure to watch our next video as we get started putting the blocks down for our framework of our next building. God bless you. Bye-bye now. <laughs>